There are now no previous World Cup winners standing between England and the final of the tournament, so we're all getting terribly, terribly overexcited. Gareth Southgate has told his players to forget about the failures of the past and write their own story as they take on Colombia tonight for a place in the quarterfinals. Well, for more England's chances against Colombia tonight, we're joined by a man, actually one of the most experienced England players probably alive. He played, I think I'm right in saying, Sol Campbell in six tournaments, three Euros, three World Cups. So you're probably the best person to ask, have we ever had a better opportunity mm -hmm. that you can remember to actually go on and win this thing? Good morning, Piers. Um, I think it's uh, a fantastic opportunity for, for England. Uh, most of the World Cup winners are on the other side. Um, you know, the, to get to the semi-final, it's, uh, it's plain sailing. And to get to the final, I think we should be able to do that. We've, we've got a team, we've got the nice draw. Uh, everything's kind of lined. Uh, Harry Kane's playing fantastic. The guys are playing, the guys are gelling. We just don't want any standing offs or anyone getting injured, because that can happen. But other than that, we should, if we play to our maximum, get to the uh, final. Gareth Southgate, no Gareth Southgate, our manager. You, you played with Gareth, I know, for England. Uh, when he yeah. first got the job, he was like a kind of stand-in. No one was really sure that he was what we needed. He's turned out to be a very impressive <laughs> leader. Are you surprised how well he's adapted to this job? Well, I think, you know, the, I think the FA kind of looked at him from, uh, from afar and then brought him in early doors and got him with the youth, uh, got him understanding, got him kind of looking at the youth and then as a, as a manager. So uh, I've never had the chance to thank you on national television for that moment when, as Spurs captain, you came over to the right side and joined Arsenal and, of course, drove us to great trophy-winning triumph. So on behalf of every Arsenal fan, so thank you. And next time at uh, Chelsea Flower Show, say hello. <laughs> Were you there this year? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I was there. Maybe you're not seeing me. Oh, did I'm you sorry, mate. You must have the you, we, I didn't Ooh. blow you off. Were you lurking in the begonias? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just right in front of you, just oh, with really? the family. Next time, say hello. So, next time, I'll come and man up. I will man up, shake your hand, and thank Brilliant. you for what you did that day, which wrecked my dad's entire... But afternoon, probably his year, actually. But it was great. He went on to win great things for Arsenal, so we were very grateful. And next time I will come and see you at the Flash Show. Yeah, OK. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks, Sol. <laughs> Enjoy the match. Blimey, I must, Ooh, have, I must have flipped him off at the Flash Show. I didn't think I'd done that at all. Really sore. That you really were busy making friends with Shirley Ballas. That, that was the problem. That cut deep, didn't it? Mm. He did not like me snubbing him at the, at the rhododendrons. He was. He literally was keeping his tinder dry, wasn't yeah. he? He was waiting to say that at I, the I end. Do not, I do that not was remember. A solid burn. I do not remember seeing Sol Gamble no, at the No, clearly. Show. It was That's not a deliberate problem. burn, certainly, but he clearly has taken it very personally.